Hey YouTube, this is my third time trying to record this video, so hopefully it works out. I'm here to talk about this product that I purchased right before I left for school. It was the last product that I got, and I felt like save the best for bat. Save, save the best for last was definitely, definitely how I would just describe this experience. And that is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Sanding Smoothie. This stuff is amazing. I haven't found something that moisturized my hair like that since my, I mean, my Herbal Essence Split and Protector. And then after that was the Elastic QP Butter, which is like, okay. But this makes my hair feel so soft. And I can't really use it on all my head because I have this protective style in. But I use this to like smooth down my edges. And I like my edge control by Organic Boost Stimulator. But this gives me hold, but it's like a butter. So it's just a nice moisturizing hold. Um... It's from the Coconut Hibiscus line. As you know, I have this, and I also have this, the milk. The milk, I felt when I would use it to moisturize, it just sat on top of my hair. I mean, it penetrated, but it wasn't like I felt like this soft, conditioning, yummy. I just, you know when your hair feels like at its peak, the best. That is what, the, this, is, this is where that gets me. This, on the other hand, it was all right. Um, it did help when I have a moisture balance because it has wheat protein in it as this. There's a few similar ingredients as the two, but this is just, I'll show you. Better to just show and explain. This is how thick that is. I could turn it over. This bad boy is not coming out. That's how thick it is. Um, the consistency is like between like a butter and like pudding kind of. It feels like I mixed a whole bunch of yummy stuff in my avocado butter that I have and just thickened it up. How I use this product so far, I use it two different ways. I use it to smooth down my edges because as you know, I'm like a three in the front. And then I tied a, um, my, I'll show you. I tied down my satin strip, you know, and then I take it off and then my edges are like really smooth. Today I didn't use this. And I'll explain why. I used my um, organic root stimulator just to slick down the sides. Nothing too crazy. And then the other time I used this, and it worked. It gave me hold. But it was moisturizing. Like It wasn't like a gel where, you know, I mean, I use alcohol-free gel, but it's just like, it was just so nice using it like a moisturizing product to, that has enough hold to slick your hair down, but with still feeling supple and not crunchy or hard or anything. And then... Because I know I'm going to love this product when I take this out. I just want to take this out now just so I can test this out. I washed my hair, co-washed it, and then I was like, mm, what can I do? I'm like, let me see if this can slick it down. So I took a little bit in my hands, smoothed it right here, you know, on my sides, tied a scarf down, bonnet, went to bed. Next day I woke up, this was slicked down. I, had, I did that and I was driving 12 hours to get to school, got here, still slick down no frizz at all and I being text last it's like I'm not bone straight but I'm not natural that I can use some heavy products but it really and then it does define your curls because as you know I'm like I don't know how many months post it's I haven't got perm since March and it's August late August now so somewhere like that and it was just like, I could just see like my defined waves. As you know, like I'm like a 3C, 3B in the front. So my hair waves in the front and then the center, it coils and curls. But it just like, it was just so soft and wavy and slicked down and glossy and shiny. But the thing is, I can only do that for one day because this product does start to build up. And because it's only a little bit of leave out, you can't be heavy handed with it. But um, I use the product that I have. It's my dry shampoo. Spray that on because I'm not ready to wash my hair yet. And this product came right off. It was fine. But um, I definitely know. And the thing that was so crazy, I let my friend touch my hair. And she's like, wow, your hair is so soft. I'm like, I know. Like, I don't know how to explain that this makes my hair feel so, so crazy soft. Like, I haven't had a butter besides my avocado butter and maybe my Elastic QP mango butter that I liked. But this, I can't go without. The only thing I'm afraid of is this does have silk protein in it, which reduces breakage, strengthens hair, and adds smoothness and silkiness. These are the three main things that they have here that they list on the side. It has coconut oil, which hydrates and protects hair from heat and chemical damage, and neem oil, an age-old oil that strengthens hair and provides brilliant shines. So I guess that's where the shine comes from. And as you know with Shea Moisture, there's no parabens, no paraffins, no gluten, 
No mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no animal testing, no synthetic color, no animal ingredients, no sulfates. So, you know, straight organic, great for your hair, for your skin. You can use it however you like. <sighs> Go out and buy it. I don't know how many... I don't know how to explain. Like, I just know this is going to define your curls because it has enough hold and heaviness to define it, but it's not like a gel where it hardens. So, you can get, like, a few days out of this. And it's really thick. It was definitely, out of all the products that I've gotten, this is the number one on my Shea Moisture list. And then after that would be my Creamy Aloe, um, Mickey Mouse, or Gary Stain Leader. It will be my Yucca and Baobab um, shampoo. I love that shampoo. And then after that would be the the deep conditioning treatment after I added my greasy oil and found out how to make that product work. But this is just the initial review. When I take this out, I'm definitely going to try a braid out twist out maybe with this see if I can get a lot of hold because I'm trying to use all organic products on my hair I'm trying to see how this feels on my relaxed ends and my text lax and then my new growth that I have so I'll definitely be talking about how it affected each section if you want to know anything more about this product if I left out anything just leave a questions down below um, I'll definitely be posting the ingredients because I think it's really important I just want to let you know that between the styling look and this the first like three ingredients is water Shea butter, coconut oil, sugar starch, and silk protein. That's in here. This one is water, shea butter, coconut oil. So first three are the same. But then after that, they have macadamia seed oil and then mango butter. I don't think there's mango butter in this one. Then avocado oil, glycerin, aloe vera, silk protein. So protein's a little farther down. But I think adding the mango butter, maybe that's what makes it thicker. I have no idea. And there's nothing in here that I can tell you that gives you like that holds. I don't know what's in here that gives you the hold or the slip. My hair hates glycerin, but with this product, it doesn't matter. No complaints. First product I've got all summer that I don't need to add anything. I can use this by myself, and it's perfect. The only con, I guess, would be is that you cannot be heavy-handed because it might leave a residue, but or it might weigh your hair down if your hair is very fine or so. So it's just the proportion that you use it. But this. And fill it with some grapeseed oil, baby, you are good to go. Hope this video helped, and I'll check you guys out soon. As always, happy, healthy hair journey, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.